Yeah. Sure. And I'm just going to let you listen to Baba now. And to Iyad, we get to listen to it. This is Baba Fashikun. Ashe. Ekabo, welcome. Uh, thank you. Um, I want to thank Camelia. Um, she's one of my, I like to say, students. Uh, traditionally, if I, we will say Omo, it means children. Um, so I really want to thank her because her character is impeccable and she's very brave. Uh, we can talk about that another time, but to put this together is uh, really special for me, especially to see Fa in a chapel. <laughs> it's amazing. That says a lot about how the ancestors work and how spirit works. It's really uh, inspiring because if you know about the history, what she was saying earlier, there was a time when in the well, in Africa as well, but also in the diaspora, that Africans were killed and tortured and all those other bad things for practicing this tradition. So for me to be here in a chapel is it's a first. It's a first. And uh, I've lectured at a, a few different places. And also for me to be here with my daughter who's initiated and my fifth grandchild is also special for me. So we can see that Ifa is, is growing. It's one of the fastest growing traditions in the United States. I heard they say Islam is, but from what we see, Ifa is growing very, very fast. When we say Ifa, we're talking about even the branches of Ifa, which fall under uh, 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 the heading of Ifa, but Condomble, Santaria, Lukumi, uh, Shango, uh, Baptist in Trinidad, and even in the United States, it's growing very, very fast. The, the other places I mentioned are Brazil, Cuba, uh, Haiti, Puerto Rico, all those places. But even in the United States, it's growing. And my particular, what we call Ile, my uh, spiritual house, is multicultural, multiracial. And I have uh, people from other traditions, other faiths coming to practice Ifa. That's the beauty. One of the praise names for our prophet is Orumila. Orumila, the name of our Ile, our spiritual house is Orumila Afe de Feyo. Ile Orumila Afe de Feyo. Orumila is the, the uh, prophet of Ifa. Like everyone has prophets in their traditions, Orumila is our prophet. And Afe de Feyo means he is the universal linguist. So we say that Orumila speaks to all. Orumila speaks to all. So that's why my spiritual group looks the way that it looks. So what we're doing is uh, uh, spreading a universal theme with an African flavor. That's what I like to say. And in particular, a Yoruba flavor. The tradition um, has spread all over the world. My particular spiritual family has people that practice in the Ukraine and China. So the tradition is growing. And um, even in Nigeria, it's alive and well. Even though Christianity is very strong there, the evangelical movement is very strong there. Uh, Islam is very strong there, but the Yoruba, traditional Yoruba religion is growing so fast. It's growing so fast. We pray that the governments in Nigeria, Togo, Benin, Ghana, all where these traditions are, we pray that they start to recognize it like, like the Hindu tradition is recognized in India. There's a lot of parallels and uh, commonalities between Ifa and Chinese Taoism, Ifa and the Kabbalah from the uh, Judaism, Ifa and the Gnostic traditions in Christianity, Ifa and the Sufi tradition in Islam. So I'm, I'm trying to give you a base so you can understand the, the, uh, the feeling of Ifa. I like to say the feeling of Ifa because for us it's a feeling. It's intellectual but also emotional. Ifa ties this and this together. So traditional or Yoruba says think they will point here. The Baba Lawo, the Yanifa will point here. They say think. So it's an integration of the heart and the mind. They're not, they're not separated, so they come together. So anyway, what I, what I want to do is uh, start with a, uh, a prayer for the ancestors. No matter what tradition you come from, no matter what you do, we all have ancestors. And so we always uh, start by honoring the ancestors with water. And um, water is very sacred in a lot of traditions. Um, but in Ifa, it's super sacred. And we call on the spirit of the water. Our prayers, what we call Ofo Ashe. 
or four is, the, is like saying the power of the word. We're activating the energy that's in the water. So every body of water is sacred for us. So when the priest is praying, he's activating the ashe of the water. We, in our scripture, in our Odu, we have Odu that talk about when water came to the planet. And what was water's mission? So one of the things that one of our scriptures, the Odu Ifa, says that, <clears throat> excuse me, that water, water came to the planet to bring peace and coolness. So the water already knows what it's going to do. All I'm doing is kind of asking it to help me out here. Water already knows. We always say, honey knows what to do. Honey knows it's sweet. You don't have to tell it. But how you want it to bring sweetness to, into your life, that's your business. How you want water to bring healing into your life, that's your business. So when I do the prayer, I'm asking the ashe. Ashe is like saying amen, but it goes deeper than that. It's really a word that has no translation. But I'm invoking the spirit of the water to come and bless this space. So I also do a prayer for the, uh, for the ancestors. There's uh, prayers that we do that are specific prayers, but I add certain things to them, and, 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 I'll, and I'll tell you a little bit of what I'm saying. Okay. <clears throat> Ibashe omi, Ibashe omi, omi tutu, 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 aye tutu, aye tutu, aye tutu, ile tutu, ile tutu, tutu egun, tutu egun, tutu egun, egun, fumini alafia, egun, fumini alafia, egun, fumini imo. Egun fumini oye, egun fumini ogbon, egun fuwani alafia, fuwani alafia, fuwani alafia, egungun kike egungun, eguni ku ran ran fea woko o pui pui, oda su bumfon lewo, eguni ku bata bango egunde, bi ba fatori na le egun, ibashe egun, ibashe egun, ibashe egun, ibashe omi, omi tutu, omi o. So in essence, I'm asking that the space be cool, that there be cool space, that ori, that my head is cool, ori tutu, ashe. Whatever I pray for me, I pray for you. I pray for peace for the space. I pray for peace for the planet. I pray for peace for our ancestors, that our ancestors are cool. So even you can do this on your own. You don't have to be a priest to do this. You can wake up in the morning and drink a sip of water and pray and sprinkle water on the earth. It's all for peace and coolness. So this is one of the rituals that, that we do on a regular basis. We, uh, and again, like I said, we have many rituals that involve the use of water. So when I'm calling Omi, Omi is water. Tutu is coolness. So we're asking to bring coolness to the earth. So Aye Tutu, Ile Tutu. Aye is the earth. The earth for us is a, a feminine energy. It's a female spirit. So in Ifa, we have what we call, a greeting that we do is called Mofori Bale. Mofori Bale, it means I touch my head to the earth. The earth is sacred for us. The earth is sacred for us. So that's why if you ever go uh, to traditional Yoruba culture, am, am I correct, the bowing? The bowing is a big, big thing. The bowing is big, 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 big in Yoruba culture. Traditionally, I, if, if I have an elder, I will not stand over my elder's head and talk to him. I will squat or I'll kneel, traditionally. And it's still done to this day. So there's all these different aspects that are tied in within the culture. It's even to the point now where some uh, uh, folks don't even know that the traditional days of the week in the Yoruba uh, calendar and culture come out of the Oduifa come out of the Odu Ifa. So many things that are done are tied in within the culture. Has anyone here ever studied Ifa or practiced Ifa? No, so this is new. Okay, good. 
Good. I'm. I'm. Uh, my title is uh, Awo. Awo means mysteries, or some people say secrets. The full title is Baba Lawo. Baba is father. Lawo means secrets or mysteries.